Rhythm doesn't protect. Aqua Jet comes onto my Sceptile. Gonna activate the little absorb thing. The absorb bulb. Unburden is gonna activate. Sceptile outspeeds the Fluttermate on the Tailwind. Connects the. Oh my goodness. Perfect. Perfection. What's going on, guys? Cisco here, back with some more VGC double battles. And today we've got an Absorb Bulb Sceptile and a Soak Golduck. Shout out to Vimbo for the suggestion. And I'm pretty sure someone commented Golduck, but I couldn't find it. So if that was you, let me know. And I'm sorry. If you guys want me to showcase one of your favorite Pokemon or just any Pokemon you'd like to see, drop a comment down below and let me know what Pokemon you'd like me to build a team around. Or if you guys have some cool teams that you've built yourself and want me to showcase them here, drop your rentacles down below and let me know. Now, this combo right here, I have high hopes for. And I'm so proud of this one. I was scrolling through different held items and I came across the Absorb Bulb. And what it does is, if the Pokemon holding the Absorb Bulb is hit by a water type move, the item gets used up and the Pokemon gets a plus one in special attack. I thought, hey, that's pretty sick. That can easily be paired with an Aqua Jet user. And then it sparked. What if I give the Absorb Bulb on an unburdened Pokemon? Then I found this gem, Sceptile. This guy has unburdened as his ability, which allows it to double its speed whenever it's not holding an item. So after an Aqua Jet, this thing will be at plus one in special attack and be holding no item in order to double its speed. This thing's already got a good special attack, so putting it to a plus one will be meaningful. And it's already a really fast Pokemon. So with Unburdened active, this thing will literally outspeed everything. Not only that, this thing even resists Aqua Jet, making it the perfect combo for this item. Now, we need an Aqua Jet Pokemon. And my choice of weapon here is the Almighty Golduck. The reason I chose this thing, well, two reasons. It has Cloud 9, which eliminates all weather whenever it switches in. So this could be nice due to so many strong weather teams out there right now. Next up, this thing has the move Soak. We can easily click Soak onto the opposing side, make any Pokemon on the opposing side a water type. Now, why is this beneficial? Well, next to Golduck, we have a damn scary Sceptile at plus one, which can outspeed everyone and just rip with Energy Ball. Tell me not, that sounds so sick. The only issue is that Golduck will always move after Sceptile, meaning we'd be soaking Pokemon after Sceptile has already gone. It would have been perfect if we were able to soak first and then throw an energy ball into the newly soaked Pokemon, but we'll make it work somehow. What I'm thinking is like once they see my Sceptile set up after turn one, they're going to want to just throw everything at it. So I can take that chance to detect with um, Sceptile and click soak with Golduck, but we'll see. Now, next up, we've got Chiyu with the Beads of Ruin, which lowers the special defense of all Pokemon on the field. So after setting up a Sceptile, we can easily swap out uh, Golduck, come into Chiyu, and give us a better chance of picking up that one-hit KO with Sceptile. And then we've got Iron Hands with Rock Slide to help cover for most of Sceptile's weaknesses. And this thing with Wild Charge can and will benefit from Golduck, Golduck Soaks if we're able to connect any. And finally, we've got Roaring Moon for speed control and just to lower opponent's attack with Breaking Swipe. And then good old Fluttermane to help us close out these games. Because let's be realistic, Sceptile and Golduck are very squishy. So if we don't one hit KO most of their Pokemon, these two will go down after one or two hits. Super excited to try this combo out. Really proud of this one and really hoping for the main combo to work out. But guys, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or if you're a returning viewer and are joined the content so far, Come on, just hit that sub button. It really helps me out, and I'd really, really appreciate it. But now, let's get rolling with the Sceptile and Golduck team and try to get some dubs. All right, we got Adriel here, and they've got a... I was going to say side spam team, but I don't see the side spam. So I guess no side spam team. They just have some pretty cool mons. Some of the new Paradox forms. Pelipper with Rain. And then the Fluttermane. I think I'm going to go same top three here. And then to close the game off, I think Fluttermane. Choice back Dazzleclean just looks so strong here. And I think, yeah, we're going to lock that in. All right. I played one battle with it. Sceptile can actually put in work. And Energy Ball is hurt. But it is very fragile. <laughs> it's extremely fragile. It can outspeed everyone. But it's fragile. All right, let's see what they lead off with here. You go straight Pelipper? No, Tornado's Engaging Fire. Okay. Um, I kind of just want to Terra Dragon Pulse. Yeah, let's do that. 
That's Terra Dragon Pulse. I doubt he goes for Burning Bulwark here. I think he sees the KO with Heat Crash. So he's going to go Heat Crash Sunny Day. I could see that being a thing. And if that's the case, then I swap out... Um, Yeah, there's a Sunny Day. I'm going to swap out my Gold Duck now. Just so I can clear out that... um Sun. But in comes the Aqua Jet. Gonna activate my Absorb Bulb. Gonna put me at plus one. We're gonna outspeed the Gouging Fire. And is this enough? Is this Dragon Pulse enough for the KO? Oh, so close, man. This thing is Citrus Berry. So darn close. And they're just gonna howl. Imagine if I would've just... Oof. I would've been sick. Okay, I mean, now... Now what? Now I think I should detect here. I'm gonna soak this thing. Detect and soak. Realistically, the sun isn't really bothering me. It is boosting his gouging fire to the max, but... And he's gonna terrestrialize. Probably into fairy. It's probably fairy. Yep. I wasn't born yesterday, but I'm protecting. I'm protecting. Trying to land this soak. If if Gold Dog goes down, that's perfectly fine. They're gonna go for Tailwind. Now, do I outspeed after Tailwind? And they're just gonna go for a breaking swipe. Okay. And Gold Dog eats that up. And we're gonna land the soak. Now he has one of two options. He can stay in, or he can swap. If he swaps, who's he swapping into? Well, he, does, he does have options. He does have options. Let's just try it, man. I think we give it a shot. And try to land this clear smog. They do wish for the Tornadus. Okay, fair play. Into the Iron Crown. Okay, this is not going to do much, unfortunately. And he's going to Burning Borg. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Energy Ball chipping up quarter damage to the Iron Crown is not bad. That's not too shabby. Now I think I detect. I kind of I want to waste out these Tailwind turns. I think I detect. But there's no point in detecting, I think. Actually, there might be a point in detecting. <laughs> I can try going for another soak here. And I just might. Let's just soak the Iron Crown. Screw it. We're going to detect again. She's probably going to go for another Breaking Swipe. Yeah. And if I had to guess, maybe an expanding force onto Sceptile. There's no way he just leaves Sceptile to do whatever it wants. Yeah, he's going to Volt Switch out. Now that he's water type, I wonder if he just straight swaps out. Regardless, I'm going to go Energy Ball. I think it's, it's my smartest play. And I'm going to clear Smog this guy. The fact that my Sceptile and my Gold Duck are sitting in front of an Iron Crown and a Gouging Fire comfortably is kind, it's kind of nuts. <laughs> yeah, he's going to withdraw the Iron Crown. Probably into Tornadus. Listen, we're, fo we're forcing out these swaps really nicely, actually. Are you going to Burning Bulwark here? Yeah. So next turn, I just, um, I'm going to guess we outspeed. Oh my goodness, the damage. This Tornadus is just going for Tailwind. Sunlight is up. And Tailwind is up. I'm going to assume we, we outspeed here. So I'm going to go Energy Ball into the Gouging Fire and I'm going to come in with uh, Chiyu. 
because the Tornadus is not going to attack. It's going to go for either Tailwind or Sunny Day. And I still think my Sceptile outspeeds here. I still think a Sceptile out outspeeds. Double in speed, man. This guy's pretty fast. He goes for a Tailwind. Come on, show me that we outspeed. Nah, it still outspeeds. But it doesn't pick up a KO, so Sceptile's going to be able to pick up the KO here. Very nice. All right, get out of here, Gouging Fire. Listen, we still have a Flutter main. The only issue is the speed here. Yeah. If we didn't outspeed um, the Gouging Fire, I don't think we outspeed this guy. I think I like gold to go down. They got what? Three more turns tailwind? Yeah. I'm gonna let gold to go down and then I'm gonna set myself up with uh Chiyu and Fluttermane in the back. To hopefully close this game out. Come on, Gold Duck. Let's get some work done. Flutter's just gonna protect. Okay. They're just wasting out their tailwind turns. That's lovely. I don't think I outspeed here. Now he goes for a sunny day. No, wait, 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 hold up. Cloud9? Does it... It eliminates the effects of weather. That's why Protosynthesis is activating. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't think Sceptile. I mean, yeah, I don't think Sceptile at speeds here. I'm just going for Yawn and Tornadus. Try to put this thing to sleep. Dazzling is going to come out here. Gold Duck is able to survive. Sceptile doesn't outspeed, unfortunately. Which kind of sucks. And heat wave? Hey, we're able to survive that. But heat wave on a tornadus? Um I go flutter. Do I go flutter? I like to protect on Shiyu, I think. Yeah, let's let's come out with you. I think we have one more turn to win. Okay, so he's gonna swap out here. He has to swap out. Or else he's gonna go to bed. So we're just gonna protect and we're gonna try to land a yawn here. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Gonna waste out their last tailwind turn. They're not gonna swap, so they're gonna be put to sleep. This Tornadus is going to sleep, and we're going to be able to outspeed, I hope. Dazzling comes out here. Going to give rid of my Gold Duck. And this thing goes for Heat Wave. Okay. Tornadus goes to bed. I need to be smart about what move I choice into. And Tailwind's up. I think I have to choice into Shadow Ball, though. Because the Iron Crown in the back? Yeah. What is it? Beast be special. Ah, it's speed. It's speed. I think I think it picks up the KO here. Unfortunately. I, I think the Flutterman picks up the KO. Even the double KO, I think. Just gonna protect. So that's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that Golduck Cloud9 just stopped Protosynthesis from activating under Sun. That's pretty cool. 
All right, come on, Heatwave. Let's connect on the Tornadus. I, I, I don't, I don't want to deal with this thing. All right, beautiful. So now it's... Oh, this Iron Crown is going to be Water Terra, isn't it? Oh, no, they already wasted Terra. They wasted Terra on the Gauging Fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's literally just... If I land, I land. If I don't, I don't. Yeah, well, let's see. Let's see if we survive. It's going to be Dazzling Gleam. We both survive. Shadow Ball's going to come out here onto the Flutter Main. Do we pick up the KO? We have to, right? Oh, Sash. You little booger. Come on, Shiyu. You better outspeed both of these guys. You better outspeed and you better double connect. We outspeed, we double connect, we pick up the double KO, and that is a GG's. Septile and Goldo getting their first dub out here. Let's go, boys. A little carry from Chiyu and the Fluttermane in the back, but that's their purpose. GG's. All right, we've got Jimmy here, and Jimmy's got a Hisui and Gudra, man. Hisui and Gudra is tough. That thing is tough. Okay, Septile actually looks really nice here. If they lead the Incineroar... And Ogre Palm, that could be a little bit tough. But I do like Sceptile and Cold Dog here. The only thing should be fake out. So hopefully he doesn't lead the Incineroar. Or the Rillaboom. I don't want to I don't want to deal with fake outs. And in the back, I think Chiyu Fluttermane. Actually. I don't know. Iron Hands looks pretty nice for the the Gudra. Oh no, let's just lock those. Let's lock those four in. That Hisui and Gudra is going to be a problem. I don't really have much to, to handle that guy. I think it's just a tank. Alright, don't show me Incineroar. Don't show me Rillaboom. And I'll be a happy camper. Urge to Frafric. I will take that. Listen, there's no way in any world Urshfu can survive a plus one energy ball. There's just no way. And there's no way this Frigraph can KO my Sceptile. No way. No shot. Please, Sceptile. <laughs> I'm begging you. And even with choice, I think Sceptile still outspeeds. We're double speed now. Come on, Sceptile. Don't let me down. All right, Energy Ball comes out here onto the Urshifu. Get out of here, Urshifu. Let's go, Sceptile. You're making me proud. Picking up the straight one shot on the Urshifu. Let's go. And this thing's going to go for Hyper Voice. Which Sceptile takes half damage, man. Half. And this thing's throat spray is gonna activate. All right, let's see who which which mod comes in, because I could go energy ball swap into Shiyu, and I kind of like that. But I'm actually just gonna protect. I'm gonna detect, and I'm gonna soak the fur graph. Yeah, I like that. Let's go detect, and we're gonna soak the fur graph. He's just gonna fake out my um. My Sceptile. Yep. Oh, excuse me? Golduck? Why? Why are you faking out Golduck? Can someone inform me why this is happening? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. You know, I'm, I'm very tempted to go for this. And I just might screw it. I don't care. I believe in Septal. If we can pick up two KOs here, I'd be pretty neat. So we got Chiyu out here. Beads of Ruins is going to come out here. He's going to withdraw the Incineroar. Into what, man? Into the Gudra. Are you kidding me? You just came into... 
to fake out and that's it fake out my gold duck what was the purpose of that oh my god man that's frustrating that's frustrating terror blast is gonna come out here it's not gonna do enough damage nowhere near enough and hyper voice is gonna pick up the ko so i just wasted terror guys lovely just just like that waste of terror well now it's chill for the meantime we go kind of want to go dark pulse into gudra we choice dazzling for sure if i go heat wave yeah, let's go Heat Wave. We're Choice Specs. Max Special Attack. Got the Beads of Ruins out here. So, this is going to hurt. I really wanted Ensinor to stay in there, man. Alright, Dazzling comes out here. How much are we doing? That's a good chunk. Heat Wave picks up Double KO. You can't, you can't go wrong with this combo. Oh, that's so frustrating. This would have been the perfect game. This would have been so perfect if we would have picked up that KO with Terra Blast on the Incineroar. But hey, we picked up the KO on on the Urshfu. We outsped it. And we even got rid of the... We chipped up the Guja a little bit. Hey, that chip mattered. I think that chip mattered. If it wasn't for that chip, <laughs> we wouldn't have picked up the KO. We're just going to go for Dazzling Gleam. We're going to go for just Dark Pulse. Try to, try to flinch it. But that's GG's battle was canceled. Let's go. All right, Septile did some work. I I'm not too bad. Right, we've got Joshua here with a Trick Room team. Plus an Urshifu. So I think actually that might be a choice Urshifu. Which I'm not sure if we actually outspeed a uh, choice Urshifu. Like a choice Scarf Urshifu. Are we able to outspeed that? Is that is is that is that possible? Um Yeah, no, we do. Pretty comfortably. Pretty comfortably, so. So yeah, so let's just go Septile and uh Gold Duck here. We're gonna go in with Chiyu, because they have Torgo, so the sun will actually be nice for us. And then go Iron Hands, because Iron Hands looks really nice on the Trick Room here. So what I'm looking to do here is just... Maybe just pick up a KO. Yeah, maybe just pick up a KO with, um... With Sceptile. We won't be able to KO, um... A Crest. I don't think we're able to KO this um, Gambit either. I could detect. And let them go for Trick Room. Because Energy Ball doesn't pick up the KO here. Plus one Chris on Cresselia is not going to pick up the KO. Now on the Gambit, I don't know. I don't think so, though. Gambit's pretty bulky. So I'm going to just detect and soak. Let them get Trick Room up. That's fine. We're going to soak the Gambit. So we actually might even force a swap here. Gonna go Kowtow to my Golduck. We soak that very nicely. And they go for Trick Room. So now I'm going to go for the strat. Let's go. Unless you terrestrialize here. Because I learned actually that's the only way to avoid soak. Like you, you get rid of the water type. So it's either you terrestrialize or you swap out. Or you just kowtow and get rid of my septile. I think that's the ally swap. 
the ally swap. The ally swap. Of course you ally swap. <laughs> that one wasn't in my books. We're able to eat up the scout tower. Gold up eats up its citrus berry. And energy ball comes onto Cresselia and don't even do half. Yikes. So we go for the tech. And we're gonna go for another soak on. Or we can yawn. Let's yawn the Cresselia. Let's yawn the Cresselia. I think we're able to survive here. And now he's gonna terrestrialize. Okay. So we get them to turn to burn Terra. Terrasize into Fairy. So they actually might continue to go after my um, Golduck. They don't want the Soaks to happen anymore. But we're going to detect our Sceptile. Hopefully they go after Sceptile. Beautiful. They go after Sceptile. So we're going to land his Yawn here. And he's going to go for Lunar Blessing. And we're going to Yawn up. So, we're wasting our Trickum turns pretty nicely. We only got two turns left. We can go for Energy Ball. And Soak. And I think I might just do that. Yeah, let's do that. I'm hoping we survive a Kowtow. If we don't survive a Kowtow Cleave with Sceptile... That's going to be the saddest thing of my life. Honestly, oh, I was going to say, please be speed, speed booster, but you're not. Kowtow to Sceptile. We survived something with Sceptile. Oh my goodness. You can't soak a Terrasilized Pokemon. But Sceptile still picks up the win hit KO. <laughs> this is a full-on mixed emotions. <laughs> Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> you actually got to be kidding me. That's so dumb. You can't soak a Terrasilize Pokemon. But Sceptile says, don't worry, I got you. And picks up the KO. Oh my goodness. So we're going to detect. And we're just going to yawn this thing again, right? We go for soak. I do like soak. Yeah, let's just soak the Fluttermane. Because this is the last turn of Trick Room. We're going to land the Soak on the Fluttermane. Beautiful. And this thing's just going to go for the Little Brussing. And that's not going to do anything. You're practically full. And he's going to go for Icy Wind. So, Trick Room is up for them. We're going to be able to outspeed now. And I'm gonna yawn, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to energy ball into you. Actually, listen, I'm gonna go energy ball into Fluttermane, and I'm gonna soak. Uh, no, I'm gonna yawn. I'm gonna yawn the Cresselia. Beautiful. Sceptile comes up with the energy ball, picks up the one hit KO on Fluttermane. Beautiful. Let's go. We're actually getting work done finally. Let's go. We're gonna yawn the Cresselia, and this thing is just going for Trick Room. So. Listen, you can have your trick room, you're falling asleep next turn, and you need to have one Pokemon left. And it's gonna be the Ursaluna. Blood Moon Ursaluna. So I'm just gonna detect, and he could go for Ally Swap. Just in case he goes for the ally switch. I'm going to soak the right slot. No, he just goes fiber voice. Golduck, can you survive? Oh my god, Golduck survives. We land the soak on the Cresselia. It's now a water type, so... Sceptile can make easy work of it. He's going to go for Lunar Blessing. That's not going to do anything. Cresselia's going to go to bed. And I think now I have to let both of these guys go down. Actually, no, I have Iron Hands. 
I think I can come in with Iron Hands on the Sceptile slot, and then... Let... Yeah. Let's come in with Iron Hands on the Sceptile slot, and then let... Let Goldo go down. Yeah. Let's do that. He's just gonna go for another hyper voice here. We just wanna waste out these trick room terms. That's fine. Gold Dog's gonna go down. Priscilla's gonna take another turn of sleep. I'm gonna come in with Sceptile. And now we just fake out the Ursa Luna and we shoot an energy ball into the Cresselia. So we're going to fake you out and energy ball into Cresselia. Because the Ursa Luna might protect. So we're just faking out just to make sure it just can't move at all. And it doesn't protect. So we, that's a missed opportunity. We could have gotten rid of it there, but that's fine. Cresselia takes another turn of sleep. My boy Sceptile, another energy ball ripping here. It's not going to pick up the KO. We're not plus one. If we were plus one, we would have picked up the KO. Uh, now we Terrasize Drain Punch here. And we just go... We try to land another energy ball if we can. But we probably die out here to... Uh, to a Hyper Voice. Just in case they go for a ground type move. We don't want Earth Power KOing right here. Especially them getting a crit. Yeah, no. I'm good. Yeah, here's another Hyper Voice. Sceptile goes down. Listen, Sceptile, you finally did the work you needed to do. You finally put in some work. Drain Punch comes on to the Ursula. Picks up the one-hit KO. Crit mattered, I think. I think the crit mattered. I'll, I'll be fair. I think the crit mattered. And what's Crest going for? Crest is gonna still stay snoozing. Hope you enjoy your nap, buddy. Trick Room is up. We have Chiyu in the back. We're gonna shoot up a Dark Pulse, and that's gonna be GG's. Guys, Sceptile and Golduck finally put in some work. I am surprised. Because <laughs> normally, like, what's been happening is Battle of with GG. So, what's been happening was, like, like I said, Sceptile and Golduck. Turn one, they do some work, and then it's just the rest of the squad that sweeps up and we win the game. Alright, we've got Nolan here with Ensign, Flutter Maiden, Rillaboom, Latios, Blood Moon, and Ogre Pond. Listen, I like my chances with Sceptile. Now, the um the fake out is annoying. Especially if they lead the Rillaboom. Because that thing can just grassy glide. But I think these four look good. Guys, you're going to make fun of me, but I just recorded all these battles. And then once I finished, and I was going to do um, the finishing outro or whatever, I realized that my Sceptile had overgrown this whole time. And not unburdened. I am depressed. <laughs> This thing was running the wrong ability the whole time, and I didn't realize, man. I got too ahead of myself and just went straight for it, and then, oh my goodness. But I think, it, at the end of the day, it didn't really matter. In the battles I won, they, none of the, in all the battles I played, actually, there was really never a scenario where I missed out on a speed tier. So, not too worried about it. Listen, we go... I'm going to rip a Dragon Pulse into Latios. And just hit an Aqua Jet. Let's get the proper... <laughs> oh, he's going to fake me out first. Okay, never mind. Dragon Pulse is going to come out here. Going to chip up a bit of damage to the Latios. 
And this thing's gonna go for Tailwind. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Because I'm just gonna detect. I'm gonna Terrasilize. And I'm gonna Soak. Ladies and gentlemen, we're Terrasilizing the Golduck. Yes, we are Terrasilizing the Golduck. Because this thing probably goes Grassy Glide into um, the Golduck. So we want to get the Soak off. And then next turn, we want to hit the Aqua Jet onto my Sceptile. It's going to be Fluttermane. What are you, Booster Speed? Special Tag, okay. I still think we outspeed that. I think we all speed that. So Golduck is getting the fire terror here. Look at my boy. Look at Golduck go. Getting the spotlight with the terror too. They should just be going for... Yep, there's a the grass slide. And Golduck soaks that up. Let's go. And we land our own soak. Beautiful. Now, I think I just want to rip an energy ball into the Fluttermane. Or do I just... You know what? Let's go into the room. Let's try to land it if we can. They're going to Terrasilize. Oh, the Fluttermane. Okay. So that means they're staying in with Rillaboom here. Rillaboom doesn't protect. Aqua Jet comes out to my Sceptile. Gonna activate the... Little Absorb thing. The Absorb Bulb. Unburden is gonna activate. Sceptile outspeeds the Fluttermane on the Tailwind. Connects the... Oh my goodness. Perfect. Perfection. Dazzling is gonna come out here. Sceptile doesn't soak that. Listen, Sceptile got a huge ki critical hit too, man. But Sceptile outspeeding a Fluttermane in Tailwind and connecting the energy ball and picking the one hit KO in Rillaboom. Love to see it. Just absolutely love to see it. Uh, I'm gonna come at you. Because they still have Tailwind. And I want to protect turn. And this should be their last turn of Tailwind, I think. Correct? Yeah. So they're gonna look to get rid of my Golduck here, which is completely fine. So we're gonna protect Chiyu, and then we're just gonna clear Smog this guy. If we survive. If we're able to see another day. Wow, what an outspeed there by Sceptile. First game with the actual Unburden, and this guy just outspeeds a Flutterman in Tailwind. That's insane. And we land the Soak. It's beautiful. All right, Dazzling's gonna come out here onto my guys. Gold Dog's gonna soak this really nicely. Oh my god, never mind. I did so much damage. We're gonna eat up our Sitch Spirit, and this thing goes for Ivy Cudge onto Gold Dog. That's fine. That's honestly very fine. Golda got its job done. Hit a soak on the Rillaboom and Aqua Jet my Sceptile. All we needed. And we wasted our Tailwind. Now, I'm just concerned whether or not we outspeed. I don't, I don't know if we outspeed here. I genuinely don't know. We do outspeed with the Fluttermane. Land a huge Dazzling Gleam. And this thing's gonna go for a Shadow Ball. Which we die out to. Chiyu. I need you to outspeed. We outspeed and we double KO here. Huge. Oh, let's go. You love to see it. Perfect game. Perfect game. Except out putting in work and getting a one-hit KO on a Rillaboom. 
And now it's just Eladios who is almost dead thanks to... Guess who? Sceptile. And we still have our Focus Sash. We're going to go for Dark Pulse and that's going to be GG's. Get out of here, Latios. GG's. Let's go. What a dub. That's how you get it done. GG's. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our Unburdened Sceptile with the Absorb Bulb and our Aqua Jet Golda team is complete. Yes, I may have done an oopsies in the beginning and I had Overgrow on Sceptile, but we fixed it up at the end. We got two dubs with um, Sceptile as Unburdened. Two or three dubs, I think. I forgot. Listen, at the end of the day, with the, the battles where Sceptile had Overgrow, it still did exactly what it would have done with Unburdened. Nothing would have changed because in all those matches, it either outsped or just didn't pick up the KO. And Unburdened only affects speed. It doesn't affect how much damage it's going to do. So if, it's, if it outsped, Unburdened wouldn't have mattered in those situations, which is exactly what happened. But regardless, this combo was, was pretty interesting. It was pretty cool. I think when... Like, it's very situational. Like, you have to... Like, the Pokemon have to be weak to Sceptile. Like, if it's just neutral damage that Sceptile is hitting with Energy Ball, it's not picking up KOs. It's doing, like, 75% damage, 75-90% damage, which is really good. But it's not picking up KOs, which is what's needed because... Why? Sceptile is a... Just a piece of glass. One, one little hit and Sceptile just goes straight to red or just gets straight one shot. So, it's important that Sceptile is at an upper hand with its typing advantage and its move pool. If not, then exactly what happened today where Sceptile puts work, gets rid of one Pokemon or does like 80% damage to it. And then my Chiyu Fluttermane sweep up, my Chiyu Iron Hand sweep up. So don't get me wrong. This team is really good. Like I won most of my battles here, <laughs> but Sceptile, most of these battles did not like fully carry the whole game. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you're a and viewer and are enjoying the content so far. Come on, just hit that sub button. It really helps me out, and I really, really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.